We're now in Melwood, Liverpool's training ground, and this is me when I was playing, walking in. We go left into the, the dress room, but we're now looking at the Wall of Fame. We have the 60s there, we've now got the 70s, some of the Liverpool greats. Ray Clements, goalkeeper, a man we know really well, Graeme Souness. Sky Sports, uh, Dad, I would say, looks after us all, make sure we stay out of trouble. And then you've got the 80s. Now, these were, obviously, we know the, the great times of Liverpool Football Club, 60s, 70s, 80s. And you've got to be a legendary player to be on this wall. Daglish, John Barnes there. And if we go a little bit further up... See this fella here? He wasn't a bad player, was he? So these players are criticising now on TV. I have to walk past this every day and see me there. So I'm not sure the most popular man in here anymore. Michael Owen, he's even less popular than me. And Torres there. And you see some of the honours Liverpool have won in the last 10, 15 years. And then left, we go into the dressing room. Now we know for players, anyone, you can't go in the players' dressing room. But because I'm here today, they're going to let us have a little sneak peek. And it is a little bit different from when I was playing. I'm just seeing if there's anyone in here now. I used to be get changed there, but it is a lot different. Messages up on the wall. Hopefully that's inspiring them before they go out to train. We never had this little seating area here. And uh, obviously the players are going to come in later on the train in this afternoon ahead of, of the Merseyside derby. But this is what it was day in, day out. But as again, it's improved, as you'd expect. Melwood, completely different now to when I was here. So we're going to see if we can now see if there's anyone in the boot room area or up in the kitchen when you come through. So this is where the players get together before they go training. We see the boots here. Step out onto the, the famous Melwood training pitch. I'm just going to see if there's anyone about you see the boots there listen this is a disgrace the colored boots it's got to be black boots has to be and that's oh yeah who's this oh yeah number 23 at least there's black boots they might be mine still my old ones are still there because not many players have black boots now do they so okay come on let's go up is there anyone in here what room's this this was near when i was a player what is it <laughs> Fitness, fitness department. Fitness department. Is. is this where there's more staff than players? Is this one of them rooms? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's all doing the same job on a computer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, what, what do you do? What do you do for the training? You're looking at the training, sports science. Yeah, we just, um, well, Andreas will speak to Gerald, the manager, help, help the plan of training. Um, and we then try and monitor what they do and make sure they're ready for it and they're recovering well on time for the games. So the computer geeks? More or less, I Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Come on, come on, come on, he can't be hard. No, no, He's no, a fitness. No. You, know the man on, you know the man on the bench? You say he looks like Jürgen Klopp's brother. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's leave them to it. They're getting the lads ready for training. Good luck. Get them ready. It's a big game Sunday, isn't it? Come on. And we're going now to the canteen. See, so we can see my favourite girl, Caroline. Up we go. Normally, when I, when I left, there was a big sort of montage of different Liverpool legends on that, on that wall. There was a bit of a problem because Rafa Benitez was on it, and then a new manager comes in. So they had to change that. So I think they just kept it safe now with Melwood. But as we come up, <coughs> this area now, that is the, the manager's office. Should they go and give him an oxy if I'm playing? You've got... I think that's maybe, the, well, we see that there at the Sporting Directors uh, office. You've got player liaison, Ray, and we have to give this man a mention, a big mention, actually. Mr Liverpool, Ronnie Moran, one of the biggest influences on my career, but a lot of Liverpool careers, I think, and certainly the most successful man to ever be involved with the club playing. I don't think he played for any other club, coaching, all the, the great times, and he was, he was passing on those messages from uh, you know, the famous Bill Shankly, was still part of that. Uh, staff when I first started, yeah, legendary figure at the club. And now we'll go into the canteen. And now the canteen, let's use Cochrane. Oh, here she is. 
Here she is, Caroline. She's got a hair done especially today for this. I told her last night I was coming. Come on. What's different here? What's changed? Everything. Everything. Yeah. So I'm not here. No is there a better atmosphere now? Brilliant. Look at all these facilities and lovely food they've got. Imagine if I had that, what I'd have done as a player. Well, you'd never complain, would you? No, no, no. no. Listen, this, this woman used to look after us, cook everything. They've now got better people doing the food. <laughs> I'm <laughs> joking. Who else is in here? You Am I allowed in here? Yeah, come on. Oh, come on. Good morning, Jamie. Come on, explain what these players are going to be eating before, the, before this Merseyside derby. No, I can't do that. That's a come secret. Come on. That's a secret. Come. That's Big a Sam's secret. not watching. That's all right. He's not watching. Oh, is it a secret now what these? It is a secret, yes. Oh, yes. OK. No, it wasn't a secret what I had, was it? No. Just beans on toast off you, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. You've changed. You have. I saw you on the website last week. And listen, this is now the, well, still is the training pitch that we played on. Liverpool are actually moving, uh, moving closer to the academy up at, uh, in Kirby, really, so they'll probably be another year, uh, a couple of years. But you see what Jürgen Klopp's done there? That was always the main pitch, even for when I first came to Melwood at nine, ten years of age. That was, the, that was the pitch the first team trained on, and you were not allowed to go on it as a young player. But actually, you see Jürgen Klopp's done there. He's actually fenced that pitch in. And I think when they're doing real tactical work, those uh, look like curtains, really, but big curtains actually go right down the pitch, because let's not forget that this training ground is, is unique in some ways in that, maybe old-fashioned in some ways in that, it's in the middle of houses, terraced houses, housing estates, training grounds are completely different now. And you're always worried with someone with a camera over the wall, seeing who was playing, who was involved in set pieces. So that's a change Jürgen Klopp's brought into to Melwood, but still some great memories here really for me and and you think of people always think you know you played at Anfield so many times and the memories you have there yes but this is the place you came every single day the girls in the kitchen the kit men the people looking after your boots all these different type of people who are involved in a football club the main base is the training ground and as we see that what Jurgen Klopp's done and some great memories and just great to be back at Melwood.